Hi, I'm Andrew Stevenson, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own how to draw puzzle for your kids' activity books for free. This tutorial is in Canva, and I have made several tutorials using other bits of software on how to make these puzzles. Now, I'm sure you are all aware of a new piece of software that's been released. It costs about $65, $70 and it allows you to make these sort of puzzles and also another sort of how to draw puzzle. It's good software. From what I've seen, it's good software, easy to use, but it does cost nearly $70. The one I'm going to show you now is completely free. This is all done in Canva. So, you know, you do have to read the licensing that comes with the images. But you can also upload your own images as well. So if you've got you know, 65 $70 spare, feel free to buy the software that's going around. It looks really good. Uh, and I'm sure it'll make images really quickly. This is just a free alternative. And if you like this sort of video, please do like, comment and subscribe. It really does help me out. I do make videos on KDP you know, twice weekly, probably. Covering all aspects of KDP, like how-to guides, income reports, niche ideas, hot trends, etc, etc. So feel free to check out the massive backlog of videos I have on the channel. So that's enough prattling on for me, on with the video. Here we are in Canva. This is the Canva Pro, but everything I'm about to show you can be done in Canva free. Obviously, read up on the licenses that come with both the pro and the free elements. If you've got the pro version, you can always upload your own images. For this, I'm just going to use an image that I find on Canva Elements. And remember to tie the images in with the niche if you're going for a niche. So if I was going to use Halloween as the niche, there's a nice little ghost. Remember, also, if you're printing in colour, it's fine to use colour. If you're printing in black and white, use black and white. I have produced some videos that show you a few different ways how to remove the colour from pictures. I will link to those in the description. So as I'm recording this, it is April. So let's do a nice Christmas image. Because you can never start thinking about Christmas too early. So I'm just going to do a nice Christmas tree. So this tree here is a nice black and white image. So we don't have to remove the colour. And resize the image to the size you need it. You might want to have a full page of the key to the puzzle and then a full page of the actual puzzle itself. I'm just going to work on one page so it's easier for you to see. So I'll just resize it ever so slightly. And this is the image that the children are going to be copying over to the blank puzzle which I'll create soon. The next thing to do is to make our grid over this Christmas tree. We'll be using a table tool. And I'm going to make the grid five by five. So five across here and five down there. So five columns, five rows. I also want another row at the top and another column down the left hand side. That is in order to create sort of like coordinates so the kids can find um, say C2 find out what's in square C2 and copy that into their blank grid. So it's going to be 6 by 6.
and here are the tables you can use I'm just going to use a basic table there we go so I want to add two rows and I also want to add two columns So that's the basic grid there and it's fine as it is but I want to make these square so I'll just drag the corner and create the height to be the same as the width so 12.6 by 12.6 so now I need to drag the grid over the Christmas tree image and this image needs to fit in these squares here now I have just realized I have missed out I need to add another column and another row a six by six there we go I'll just shrink this image down ever so slightly just play about with it until you get the size you need that worked perfectly So now I'm going to add the letters and numbers to the top row and the left hand column to create the grid references. So I'll go letters across the top. Numbers down there. And remember you can format the fonts make them bigger don't know why those didn't bold so that's your basic grid package so this is the first part of the puzzle done this is the key the next thing we need to do is to create a, another grid for the child to fill in so to select both of these items shrink them down a bit and pull them out the way now I'm gonna control C control V to copy and paste and pull the new image out of the way so what we need to do in this new bit of the puzzle is to blank is to remove all of the image apart from maybe one or two squares and to do that we need to select all of the cells from the middle so click on the top left one hold down shift click on the bottom right one then click on this color tab here on the top left and click on white so that is the entire image hidden behind a wall of white cells now we need to decide which part of the puzzle we want to reveal and I think we'll probably do the tip of the star so that's C1 go down to C1 select that cell and add no color and the image underneath reveals itself you can add a few more you know squares just to make it a little bit easier and they don't have to be all joined up like that you can reveal them from anywhere really And then the child has to use the grid so d2 is already done so d3 the copy this bit of the image into d3 here and it's as simple as that it doesn't take long to set up and as soon as you have this grid 
sorted then you can just copy the grid and use it for loads of other different images so that is it for today's video just a quick way how to make your own how to draw puzzles for your activity books for free so thanks for watching and i shall see you next time